Some evidence suggests that small companies provide higher returns than large companies. A small investment strategy is a strategy that concentrates all of the investments in small companies. We found that the evidence that small companies provide higher returns than big companies is only true for a very particular measure of company size, specifically market capitalization, price. If you measure the size of a company using anything other than price, small companies don't provide higher returns than large companies. If you measure companies by their assets or their sales or their book value or even their number of employees, you find no particular relation between the size of the company and the return. However, if you measure companies by market price, there's a distinct measurable return advantage to investing in small companies. But it really has nothing to do with the size of the company. It's the co-measure of price and size. If we measure market, if we measure size by market capitalization, we're not just measuring the size of the company. We're simultaneously measuring whether the company's priced high or low. And it's really low-priced companies that have higher returns than high-priced companies. So the idea that small companies provide higher returns is just the value effect seeping into your measure of company size. A value investor is looking for mispriced stocks. They're looking for good quality companies that are temporarily trading at cheap prices. This mispricing is not uniform across the size of companies. The largest companies in the world are the most heavily researched, the most widely covered, and the most efficiently priced. Smaller companies are much less heavily researched and therefore much less efficiently priced. A value investor is likely to find much richer opportunity set in small companies than large companies.